Yeah. Oh well, let's see on video. I meant to take a picture. Still here. Everything's going okay. Look at this. Needed buffering, so I put phosphoric acid in it. Bring the pH down. The beans are really nice. Find one in here. Pretty good. Crunchy. The lettuce yak paper or something. Must be real art and growing hydroponics. Okay. Bath tubs. Problem is, tomatoes are going well. Nut and flower, get some flowers in there. There's not all that much nutrients in worm castings. A bit of potassium and phosphate in the solid. Potash in the liquid. And nitrogen is pretty low. And things growing that stay alive, stable for an awful long time. But don't get that fantastic burst of growth which we want from our vegetables plants to produce all these flowers and copious amounts of green material which we can just keep harvesting from it. Interesting experiment. I still want to cut holes in those sinks and drop pots down to the water. Only one of those tanks has water in it. And it's um, 500 litres. Maybe 600 in this one. Nutrients are all over the place. These you just go down the shop and buy pre-packaged hydroponic solutions. But the idea was, can we recycle worms and juice, use them as translators, take nutrients from one state, one level, and um, keep them within the system. So after it overflows, we store it, recycle it back through the worms, composts, and try and keep in the system but it looks like you need fairly complex biosystems to do that nitrogen leaks phosphates elements bind move out of the solution um, and it's a bit of a thing to play with but I've only doing, been doing it for a bit couple of months and I don't have um, a whole heap of meters probably a good thing it's pushed me to learn about plants and what they mean what they're saying this little guy let's see how old is he now he'd probably be like four weeks nitrogen slow um, let us go okay. And the total dissolved salts is about sitting around about 1200. I was putting 10 litres of worm juice in it a day and it slowly rose and rose and rose. But it's kind of sitting stable there. Got other factors, it's outside, it got rainfall, so it's been diluted every so often. Also, I make mistakes and I lost what? Perhaps 200 litres out of that. It's covered with a piece of um, something to keep the light off the water. Got frogs happening there at times. They keep laying eggs. Don't know how well they're breeding. Um, got seed from the buckwheat. So if we get these sinks across here put some holes in them about 8 inch and drop a screen pot in it maybe 10 inch and leave a wing it gives a lot of surface area to have a plant just dangling in the water 
and then we need to probably add a fish or something something to eat the lettuce leaves and um, give us some nitrogen